Ken, thanks so much. We are following new breaking news this morning in the northern part of our viewing area. Police say one person has died in a fire and children may be trapped. Yeah, so this is happening in Flora, about 25 miles east of Lafayette. Kylie, as you see, is in the at the alert desk right now. What do you know here? Uh, good morning. Just learning from our sister station WLFI that the coroner is on the way to the now, scene. What we know right now this morning is that the fire broke out around 3:30 this morning in the 100 block of East Columbia Street. So I pulled up uh, Google Maps for you to give it a street view of where this home could possibly sit. So this is the one we should have a live shot up in about an hour to give you a look at what is happening there on the ground. But in the meanwhile, we'll be looking for updates here from our newsroom and be bringing you those as soon as we can get them, Scott. I jump back in as soon as you find out how many have perished in that fire. Kylie, appreciate it. 533, right? oh, a deadly fire in the northern part of our viewing area. Very bad update. Kylie, last time we spoke with you, you said plural fatalities. You have a new number now, huh? Yeah, oh goodness, Lauren, the, the news is getting severely worse. What we've learned right now from our sister station, WLFY, is that four children have died in this fire. They just got that news confirmed with police. We have learned that four children did die in this house fire. We've also learned that there was one woman inside the home and we are unclear what her condition is right now. We do have a crew on the way there. They should be arriving any moment. And as soon as we get in touch with them, as soon as we have a live picture, we will bring you that here on Wish TV. News 8's Daybreak. Good morning and welcome. It is Monday, 21st of November. Your Daybreak team's all local all morning. Kylie Conway's live in our newsroom following breaking news of a house fire in Carroll County where four kids have died. Also, Governor, thank you at a minute after 6 o'clock to the heartbreaking breaking news we're following in the northern part of our viewing area. Authorities confirmed four children have died in a house fire. So this is happening in Flora, about 25 miles east of Lafayette. Kylie Conway's in the newsroom at the alert desk right now with everything we know. Kylie. Such a sad tragic story. We're going to get straight to the video that we just got into our newsroom. This is coming from WLFI. This is our sister station from there in Lafayette. They're kind of being our eyes on the ground, our ears on the ground there until we can get our own crew there. Joe Melillo should be arriving there in the next 20 or so minutes. What we're actually going to have a live report coming up here in about 10 minutes from a reporter from WLFI with the very latest information. Again, very soon, Kylie. We appreciate it. Two minutes after six o'clock. We'll start. At 6:11, need to get back to the breaking news. Terrible story out of the northern part of our viewing area. Four children killed in a house fire. Cameron Harden is with our sister station WLFI. He is there live this morning. Cameron, good morning to you. Tell us everything we know at this point. Yeah, there's really not a whole lot to be known. I did just speak with the Indiana Fire Marshal, and like you said, those four children have been confirmed dead. They did. Cameron, before you go, i got one quick question for you. I know one of the things you do at WLFI is you're a meteorologist. That's one of the qualifications you have. This time of year, very frequently, we hear stories about people trying to use heaters of some kind to heat their home. Here we are at 24 degrees. Are you hearing anything about that yet this morning? You know, I have asked that and nobody is giving me any answers. They're still trying to keep it on, uh, trying to keep it quiet until the state fire marshal does complete his investigation. But I do uh, agree with you on that. Lots of people do uh, use those heaters and lots of problems do arise from that. But right now we cannot confirm whether or not that did start the fire. All right, good question to ask. We appreciate everything you've gotten for us so far, Cameron. Again, as you learn more information, of course, our crew headed to that scene as well. We appreciate the coverage. Four children killed in a house fire in Florida. Right now we continue to follow breaking news. A tragic story out of Flora, Carroll County. We've learned that there was a house fire several hours ago where four kids died. Well, it appears as though two police officers who were working as firefighters are hurt as well. Uh, we started working this with our alert desk. We've had uh, coverage from our sister station, WLFI. Our own Joe Melillo is there now with everything he has learned. Joe, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you guys. Again, Carroll County up in Flora. We're about 20 minutes northeast of west of, of Lafayette and this is the scene right now as as I stand here you know investigators are doing their job inside from what we know at this point the Indiana State Fire Marshal has confirmed that four children died in this early morning house fire and two police officers were also injured the investigation continues here there's sure to be updates as the morning continues guys Joe Malillo, thank you definitely an active scene we can see all of the investigation happening behind you we'll look for another update from Joe coming up shortly it's three minutes after the hour New